Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another so, one. TNT. Yo. I believe. I, don't, I mean, I'll say, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll date this because we, we go a little ahead of time. Today is what? What's the date today? Uh, the, today's Ooh, this today the 12th. Today's, today's the 12th of November. So by the time this comes out, this will be dated, whatever. I don't care. But I think we are on the precipice of like, a really big like financial market thing happening. What do you mean, Jonas? Okay. <laughs> oh, we're turning to one of those. No, channels? no, I want to talk to you about this because it involved it I think what happened was super I mean, shady what happened, but what's being uncovered is even shadier. It's so, always shady. Though. So there is a there was a guy his name Sam he goes by SBF, Sam Bankman Freed, I think is his name. He runs he runs a crypto exchange. Okay, I heard about uh, this. Uh, FTX. Yes. Right? Heard about this. So what happened how this how this happened is there's another big crypto exchange binance mm -hmm. they're the two biggest crypto mm -hmm. exchange. well i think they're too big and ftx has us and international binance does too well the shady binance guy mm -hmm. what he ended up doing was saying hey look, ftx created their own crypto token to go with their exchange which a lot of exchange do because that's how you pay for transactions right with your own token sure he they but a lot of, and what's come out is a lot, a lot, a lot of companies are invested in FTX, have aren't invested necessarily, but have money in FTX. So the guy at Binance said, "Hey, I have all this, whatever the token's called, and I'm I'm liquidating all of my shit." Mm -hmm. Which this was on the day where crypto dump happened. Every, yep. Everything lost like thirty percent in two days, and it caused the value of FTX's coin to plummet because it. He sold off a ton, which caused a chain reaction of selling. Well, come to find out, it showed how illiquid it was because they didn't have – basically, it's a giant fucking Ponzi scheme because they didn't have enough money. The, the money that they were it. using to back their shit was mm -hmm. their own token mm -hmm. that they created – Mm -hmm. So basically, they created money out of nothing, pumped the price, used that to finance their business, mm -hmm. and then when they got exposed, then Binance was like, oh, I'll, we'll just buy you, which was like – I was like – I wanted to be very, like, shake that mother effer's hand. Very, and then very. like two days later, he comes out and goes, oh, wait, we ain't buying you because he found out what actually was going on. Mm. Which is basically a giant Ponzi scheme. They didn't have the assets to back their funds. They were using customers' money for other investments without telling them through a back door that like couldn't be found on their financials. Needless to say, and then we'll get into like the conversation about it. They had like a crypto hedge. There's like 130 companies just through FTX that are all going bankrupt. Not to mention real life Wall Street hedge funds that have money invested in FTX that's gone. Last night, I think it was, some supposedly hackers hacked into all the hot wallets for the for the crypto exchange, stole like six hundred million dollars. People are saying that their accounts are now have zero balances. Shit is about to hit oh, the should fan. I, should I check mine? You don't have an FTX, do you? No, I don't have any. No, FTX. it's only FTX. So basically. There could be a chain react. Remember like with Lehman Brothers 2008, like they could declare bankruptcy. That's when shit started collapsing. This could be the collapse of something. Not Even though it's not related to the stock market, hedge funds that invest in the stock market have funds locked up in yeah. this thing yeah, 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 yeah. that are okay. gone. Yeah. So it could be, I mean, maybe not. I don't want to like catastrophize, but. Yeah, you sound in a little bit of. It's, it's big enough that it could singer. cause a chain, re, a chain reaction of some like financial crap to hit. So Absolutely. Um. Yeah. I mean, look, honestly, I'm, I'm sure we'd be surprised if we knew how many companies were really operating in the red constantly. And just yeah. like depending on like those well, money coming in immediately to, to handle whatever they have going on. Any company that has the mindset of as long as everyone doesn't cash out at once will be fine. We'll be fine. You know? That's illegal. That's a Ponzi scheme. It is illegal, but it's not. The, it's obviously not the first time it's happened. Oh, either. absolutely not. No, yeah. and I'm sure it still goes on today. Obviously, it does because it just happened again. Right. Exactly. Well, and I think in, in what and what I'm reading is. If if they're gonna let someone be the scapegoat like a layman from like the last time some we had a crash, why not make it crypto, which people are already 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 tentative yeah. about, so no, they can yeah. say we need regulation. Yeah, 
look what crypto does da, 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 da. because crypto is a is a threat to the banking system which people mm -hmm. corrupt and make tons of money off yeah. of so uh, look jones i'm not gonna lie man that, that does make me sad because i mean like me and you we both made a little bit of money on over on, on crypto over the pandemic could have made a hell of a lot more but yeah could, yeah definitely could have made a lot yeah. more you know a little little gotta be a little quicker on that sell trigger but uh we made some deep we made money still oh, absolutely. still for sure, for sure. Probably yeah i mean we're not most... sitting here with like six figures in the bank or anything yeah. but yeah but i mean made, I, I mean more money than i make at my real job hey look <laughs> enough money to buy my brand new computer that <laughs> right. is sitting here i will not even lie that that computer is powered by crypto yeah <laughs> <laughs> a metal card powered by crypto so you know and it did it did fund me for my trip to go in and see my mother when she was having some uh some medical issues too right. so i can't complain and it, it does kind of make me a little sad though i guess i should look at it be like i'm happy that it was at least popular when that did happen yeah but yeah it does make me a little sad to notice that people are a lot more tentative about it and that it's and and that's going that's going to go on for the future because so many people got burned with with all these different other different coins that were like oh, rug yeah. pools and the moon moons and the, yeah oh dude yeah and, and it would just it just I mean and the thing that I'm sad about is like the average person is who who pays for all of it yeah the bank because holder. they're the people well and here's the other thing and this is where they say these are all centralized exchanges right mm -hmm. they but here's the thing DeFi is starting to gain traction which is decentralized where it's like the 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 motto is your keys your your coins which essentially is like if you have your own wa crypto wallet and you have the keys which are your, your private keys so your security so no one else can access it your string of seven words you own that crypto if your crypto is on like ftx buying it they own your crypto so if something like this happens you lose all your money but if you're holding in your own wallet you you don't lose your money you still have your coins same thing they say with stocks if you have it in a broker they own your stock mm -hmm. you don't own you they owe you an iou for your stock mm -hmm. so what they're saying is it almost it, it, i think in the short term it's going to be a hit for crypto but in the long term it's going to prep it's going to push de deregulate de defy crypto of like people having their own wallets and things like that but it's good it's going to be a major setback for that pro progression right yeah so what happens to these uh to the to the guys from the company that were operating under a ponzi scheme oh i and think he's going to serve a lot of prison time oh. he's like bernie madoff bernie oh. madoff mm -hmm. the same sort of thing i think the dude is going to get caught i mean he's caught right yeah he's um caught. I don't see there's I don't think there's any way they can't put this dude in prison a very long time yeah. because when and they they've just started to peel back the onion on this like this mm. happened a couple days ago that just came out last night now all of a sudden the wallets are hacked and money's mm. gone and customers accounts are becoming zero they're finding out they're investing the customers money without their permission mm. they were they were he said they had zero leverage which basically zero zero credit mm -hmm. they were using turns out it was like 170 percent <laughs> leveraged like credit where like their investments were over what money they actually had no. which is illegal as hell similar thing like this just happened to the uh the guys who were doing movie pass actually where they were lying to investors oh yeah exactly yeah <laughs> and essentially saying is that no we have a business model that's going to be lucrative no it's yeah, not. yeah theranos man too like the same sort of shit you you put you put out a guise, everything looks fine until you get caught. It's so crazy. It's like how could you even sleep at night knowing is that oh, I could possibly be doing thirty years in prison after or this just, is all said and done. Just the, you're ripping off people like that, dude. Like, oh my god, people like and it well, and here's the thing, like with Theranos, Theranos <laughs> and uh Theranos and this guy, you have big money investors. You fooled so, uh, quote unquote, smart money hedge funds to invest in you, and you were defrauding everyone. A lot of people, dude. Billions of dollars of fraud. And you mad at the dude that that calls up somebody and tries to get their credit card numbers for some iTunes? <laughs> <laughs> the guy who gets you to go buy Google Play gift cards so you see so your grandma can go to her exactly. doctors. <laughs> that guy's an angel compared to these assholes. Right, but they're these are the those guys are look they're like the what, what, is it blue collar the, the hard worker is that yeah. blue collar yeah they're like the blue collar workers of fraud and then these are like the, the Sam Bakeman Freed and yeah. Theranos girl they're the they're the white collar fraud yeah. people right like they're they're going after big but people but here's the thing I think people 
the 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 smaller time people people hate that more because they're going after your grandma directly. Yeah, they go after the poor. It's the poor stealing from other poor people. Right, but these people go after like rich ass mo and nobody cares when they lose money. Like when Elon's crying that Twitter's losing money, <laughs> nobody gives an f because <laughs> Elon has a bill billions of dollars. When the hedge funds like, oh, we lost six billion dollars, they're like, yeah. good, you cor corrupt ass mother effer. Yeah, and that's I'm sure people right now are saying the same thing while listening to this. Episode. They said like, this dude had sixteen billion dollars yeah. and <laughs> lost it all overnight. Oh my god, dude. Sixteen billion dollars. I lost five dollars the other day and I cried. <laughs> right, right. I've just from the money I have invested in stocks and crypto in this downturn, I got sad that I that I lost money. But uh but anyways, that's all time we have today's episode. Go to the crazy Uh put some comments if you have any opinions on this for Jonas. TNT. Oh uh, yeah.